The movie opens with a woman whose name is Mallory Hayes telling two children who are only known as boy and girl that they are about to embark on a perilous journey across the water. She emphasizes how important it is for them to keep their blindfolds on as soon as possible as they head outside. Mallory grabs a box containing her pet birds and leads the children outside by following a string trail before locating the boat and jumping in the river point five years sooner artist Mallory is expecting her first child. Jessica, her sister, comes to see her, and the two of them watch a news report about mysterious mass suicides that started in Siberia and are now spreading throughout Europe. Mallory says that Mallory's painting represents a lack of connection, but Jess assures her that the baby won't be like that. Then, she makes the offer to take Mallory to the doctor. Mallory visits Dr. Lapham and makes messes with Jess about drinking while pregnant. Mallory is offered the option of letting someone adopt the baby if she feels she isn't ready to raise it because Lapham doesn't find the comments very funny. Mallory and Jess notice a woman they passed earlier now acting erratic and banging her head against the glass window as they leave the office. They are aware that the same thing that affected people in Siberia and Europe has now reached America. They leave just as the commotion escalates, with cars colliding with each other in the street. Mallory is driven away by Jess, but not long after, Jess starts to look scared by something only she can see, and her eyes begin to change a strange color. She drives wildly, with Mallory attempting to keep her out and about, however Jess flips the vehicle and accidents. Mallory can only watch as her sister steps in front of a truck while Jess remains in a trance. Despite their survival, Mallory follows everyone else's lead. She falls in front of a house after being knocked over. Even though her husband Douglas objects, a woman by the name of Lydia leaves her house to assist Mallory. Mallory appears to enter a trance and communicate with her mother before Lydia can assist her. Lydia enters a burning vehicle before it explodes. Mallory is helped up by a man named Tom, who then dashes into the house. Lucy, a police officer, is following them. The homeowner, Greg, Charlie, Felix, Cheryl, and a couple named Jason and Samantha are also present in the residence. The last two escape the house when they hear their child via telephone seeming as though he's at serious risk, everyone else shares what they've observed in those who have been affected by this enigmatic force. Charlie is of the opinion that the entity is brought on by demons who manifest in the form of one's greatest loss or deepest sadness. They are all aware that looking at the entity will result in suicide and that it is invisible. Mallory leaves the group and tells Tom what happened to Jess as she walks away. Tom goes to comfort her. The group then blocks the doors with boards and covers the windows with newspapers to keep people from looking outside. After six hours on the river, Mallory and the kids continue to descend the river even though it is pitch black. Mallory makes endeavors to contact individuals over the radio, and she begins to hear the element murmuring her name, back previously, a survivor named Olympia argues to be allowed in the house. Douglas attempts to forestall this, yet Mallory gets a rifle for good measure. Olympia is also pregnant and the others carefully let her into the house. After that, Greg makes the offer to check the transmitters in the house to see what's going on outside. He looks like he does as he waits in front of the computers for something to appear on the screens. And afterward the others hear a pounding coming from the room. They rush upstairs just in time to see Greg fall and smash his head against a wall, resulting in his death. The computer monitor is then destroyed by the others. Mallory just wants to be left alone so Olympia tries to talk to her about possible baby names later that night. She strolls around and thinks she hears a pounding commotion in the house, yet she finds it simply Lucy and Felix connecting. Fourteen hours spent on the river. While Mallory instructs the children not to remove their blindfolds, she overhears Happy Anderson, a man, calling out that it is safe to do so. He asserts he has food and that he has seen the element, saying there's not a great explanation to be terrified of it. Mallory takes out her firearm and flames aimlessly, not long before the man goes after her and attempts to take her blindfold off. Mallory battles the man and kills him by hacking at him with a blade, the group has run out of food in the past, and they are aware that assistance is not forthcoming. Charlie, Mallory, Tom, Douglas, and Lucy get together to go to the grocery store where he used to work because he locked the place up when things went wrong. They cover the windows with paint and follow the GPS's direction. They attempt to ignore the fact that they are driving over bodies while on the road. The GPS then begins going off once again a nearness ready, meaning the element is encompassing them. Tom figures out how to drive them out of danger. When they arrive at the market, 
they consume as much food as they can. Mallory decides to adopt a few birds she sees as pets. They hear Charlie's co-worker Fish Fingers, Matt Leonard, who is locked in a freezer and begs to be let out, suddenly. He then gets into a rant about how beautiful the entity is and must be seen. Lucy, Tom, and Douglas attempt to contain Fish Fingers as he begins to break out. Charlie then sees the substance and acknowledges he is ill-fated. He charges Fish Fingers, locking them both in the freezer where Charlie died and allowing the others to return home. Fish Fingers' pleading voice can still be heard, Mallory and Douglas form a brief bond that evening over their respective personal issues. The sounds of the car being driven away are then heard by the others. They find it gone when they enter the garage, along with Lucy and Felix. Mallory stops rowing after a full day on the river to take a break. At the point when she continues, she knocks the boat into a depressed truck, and Kid drops out of the boat, yet Mallory hauls him out and attempts to warm him, yet the food and covers have fallen into the waterway, so she gives her all to warm Kid up. She attempts to gather food in the woods, leaving the children in the boat. When Mallory enters a building, she hears a noise and notices that things are moving on their own and being pulled by the entity. She manages to leave the structure, but the being keeps whispering her name. Girl hears Mallory firing her gun at the unseen entity and leaves the boat to assist Mallory. However, Mallory finds Girl and grabs her, berating her for leaving the boat when they return to it. Tom has previously told Mallory that while he was stationed in Iraq, he and his fellow soldiers would follow a man as he escorted his children to school amid the chaos. Additionally, they begin to develop feelings for one another, Gary a desperate man, enters Olympia's home. The others forcefully search and question Gary. He tells the other people that he and his friend were forced to look at the creatures because some escaped mental patients came after them. One of them was defeated by Gary's friend, allowing him to flee and run to the house. He says there are likewise individuals outside not wearing blindfolds, energetically attempting to see the animals and believing that others should see them. Douglas has little to no faith in Gary and attempts to drive him out of the house at gunpoint, however Cheryl takes him out and allows Gary to remain, and they secure Douglas in the carport. Mallory assures Olympia that she isn't, despite Olympia's tearful apologies for letting Gary Indiana. Mallory says that Olympia feels like a burden. Mallory accepts Olympia's request to care for her baby in the event of her death. After that, she presents Olympia with a Hello Kitty toy for the baby. 38 hours on the waterway we see young lady holding the welcome kitty toy, showing she is Olympia's little girl. Mallory gets herself and the children under a sweeping to caution them that they are moving toward the rapids, and that it will be the most hazardous piece of the excursion. She tells them that someone will need to be able to see to navigate, and both of the kids volunteer. Mallory, however, decides that it is not worth sacrificing either of the kids, so she tells them that nobody will look and that they will just go through the rapids blindfolded, past Olympia and Mallory both begin to conceive. While Tom and Cheryl help the ladies, Gary takes out a lot of drawings of the animals, as he is one of the insane individuals who has seen them and maintains that others should see them. Before tearing the papers off the windows, Douglas observes him putting Mallory's birds in the fridge because they appear to sense danger and alert others to it. Gary tries to get rid of Douglas by opening the garage door. Mallory gives birth to a boy, and Olympia gives birth to a girl. Gary goes into the room and pulls the blinds up before Olympia. Before she leaps out the window, she gives Mallory her child. Cheryl then kills herself with scissors after Gary forces her to open her eyes to the outside. Douglas enters with the rifle, but he is afraid to hit Mallory and the children because he cannot fire with his eyes open. He figures out how to shoot Gary in the arm, yet he kills Douglas by cutting him with the scissors. Gary and Tom then see the rifle and attempt to grab it. Tom is seen alive going to be with Mallory and the children despite the two gunshots that are heard. Point five years have passed, and the movie is about to start. Mallory and Tom have been living together and raising the two children together, however, Tom chides Mallory for failing to connect with the children or even name them. They hear something outside, and it's certain individuals driving their vehicles out without any blindfolds or covers on the windows. Mallory fires setting up her framework outside as an advance notice for the children. A man by the name of Rick sends them a radio message at night claiming to be in a safe compound with plenty of food and supplies. He shows them how to get to the compound down the river, warns them about the dangers of going there with children, and explains what they need to see to get through. Rick advises them to follow the sound of birds to track down the spot. Tom needs to go to the compound, 
however Mallory figures it very well may be a snare. Outside, the survivors from prior come to the house. While Mallory and the children are able to safely exit, Tom goes to confront them. Tom is instructed to remove his blindfold by the survivors, who are led by David Dastmalkian, the whistling marauder. Tom fires and kills three of the intruders before taking one shot himself when they spot Mallory and the kids. After removing his blindfold, Tom goes after the leader, who is following Mallory and the kids, and kills two more. Tom fights the entity long enough to kill the leader before turning the gun on himself, signaling to Mallory that Tom is no longer with them. The kids are then gathered by Mallory and taken to the river. After 42 hours on the river, they are getting close to the rapids. Mallory tries to get through the rough waters that they reach, but the boat flips over and everyone falls out. Girl has made it to land, and Mallory finds her because girl has a bell that keeps ringing. When Mallory calls out to the kids, she finds boy in the water and girl on land. The entity then whispers to the three as they walk through the woods. It uses all of its might to get the kids to look, but Mallory's will is stronger, and she gets them to listen to her. Them to listen to her instead of looking. When they reach the compound, she follows the sounds of the birds, but the being surrounds them as she tries to enter until someone opens the door and lets them in. After examining Mallory's eyes, she and the children are granted entry. When they meet Rick, Mallory learns that the compound is a school for the blind whose students are protected from the supernatural forces. After that, Mallory and the kids locate Dr. Lapham, who warmly accompanies them. Mallory finally names the kids after she inquires about their names. The girl is given the name Olympia in honor of her mother, and the boy is given the name Tom. Mallory declares with pride that they are her kids and that she is their mother. The birds are then released into the sanctuary when Mallory opens her bird box. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.